Yo, what's happening, YouTube Jugger here? Welcome back to another video. Man, Diablo 4 is such a highly addictive game. And I wanted to touch on six topics really quickly, letting you guys know why this game is so popular and so highly addictive. Powering up your console or PC, the first thing you guys get to do is to choose a class. There are five different characters you guys get to play as a barbarian, a sorcerer, a necromancer, a druid, and for me, I chose the role. Now, these characters that you choose from is actually based on your playstyle and your personality. The skill tree and the paragon board allows you to further customize your character based on your playstyle. Now, my last video, you guys see me using a melee build with my rogue character. Now, this video, I actually respect my skill trees and actually customized it to be a penetrating shot, meaning that I'm using my bow to do devastating elemental damage to my enemies all around me so that I can defeat them and try to get the best loot within the game. Each character allows you to do different things. Using the sorcerer, for example, you can summon meteors from the sky to drop onto the earth, killing all the enemies around you in a devastating fiery abyss. It's just absolutely phenomenal. The customizations that you can do within this game to enhance your gameplay experience and every kill just feels so much more rewarding when you can actually kill them the way that you want them to be killed. The challenge of killing enemies just doesn't come easy based on your customization of your character. Just because you have more power doesn't mean they're gonna slay everything. It doesn't work that way. These enemies enemies are super smart they're very superior in the way that they countermeasure your attacks it's like they know what you're gonna do before you actually do it they're always prepared they're highly strong and they have special abilities that you also have against them they have against you so it's always a constant tug of war between a pull and a push to if you're actually gonna come out on top because the enemies can easily slay you this is a highly difficult game and that's why this game is so addictive because the challenge that it brings because you always want to feel like you are overpowered and even when you think you are you're just not it allows you to keep grinding to get the loot so that you can keep leveling up and keep upgrading so that you can always try to devastate the enemy the way you want them to be killed again it doesn't work out to your advantage every single time which allows you to keep regrinding the game the butcher right here for example is a special enemy that spawns within a nightmare dungeon he doesn't spawn every time but when he does the first thing he says is fresh meat and he can spawn anywhere within the map of that dungeon and you know shit is about to get real because things are gonna get turned up either you're gonna be killed or you're going to get special loot when you actually kill the butcher the butcher is relentless he can stun you he can stop you in your tracks from doing your attacks he actually has an overshield and you have a limited amount of time to kill him before he actually starts regenerating health he is that much more powerful than you and he is a bitch okay but if you can kill him you're guaranteed to get a legendary item now a legendary unique we'll talk about that later within the video coming up very shortly but killing the butcher is so rewarding 98 percent of the community in diablo 4 has lost to the butcher their very first encounter it just doesn't start or stop at the butcher there are special events happening throughout the day way more challenging enemies than the butcher their world events that you actually play with different players online so you can fight this gigantic monster so that he has the ability to also drop you special loot there's actually uber lilith towards the end of the end game that actually is a struggle and a challenge that lilith enemy will actually one shot you if you are not careful and yes the game does punish you if you are bad so it always wants to make you feel good because you always want to keep grinding to get the special loot to defeat these special type of enemies because they drop special unique legendaries for your character and that's what makes this game so addictive is when that dopamine hits when you actually kill an enemy the way you want them to be killed and boom a legendary unique drops on the floor which unique legendaries have a very small chance to drop in when killing an enemy but when it does or opening a special chest and you get that special unique item it makes you feel so rewarded to know that all that time that you put in is actually worth it because that item actually makes you even more powerful 
powerful and what keeps the game having so much replayability for our fans beyond the popularity when you know that you can actually advance your character more in power by these special unique legendary items it's because of the chase when there's power to be had of course you're always gonna want to chase now i'm actually gonna make a video in the coming days explaining in depth why these unique legendary items is so special in the game and why it's so addictive that people want them so bad that keeps them playing this game for hours and hours on end each day. Now coming up here shortly, I'm going to show you guys what uniques actually looks like on my character. Because there's special unique items for your character. And then there's special 6 unique items for every character that you can swap from class to class. If you decide to change your character while playing this game, you actually have these universal 6 unique legendaries. That makes people go so crazy because they want it so bad which in turn keeps them playing which in turn keeps the replayability of this game so high. Now besides everything I spoke about the enemies, the in-game timely events, the mechanics, the characters, the different type of builds for your characters, the popularity. Now what also keeps this game going other than the replayability is the seasonal content which people actually fall more into because they know that there's more to come and we have a year of seasonal content right now there might be a year too but it's too early to tell this game is still such a baby because it only came out four weeks and two days ago it's not even five weeks old yet and we have season one kicking off next week which adds more uniques into the game more legendaries different ways to improve your character you can actually take your character that you have and change their play style based on the new items there's just so much to do with in this game the chase is so high because you always want to feel the more power and you know that there's a very small percentage to actually get it it doesn't matter it's like hitting the lottery a chase for these unique is still a chance a chance to get it is still a chance some people say you're living the dream trying to play this game to have a chance to get these special unique but when it does happen it's like you hit the lottery and when that dopamine hits it makes you feel that much more powerful because you know you are better than everyone else because there's a pvp part of this game and again that's for another topic because this game is mostly focused on pve but yes you can actually take your gear and go into pvp and destroy other players online and get rewarded for that as well so until next video remember treat yourself don't cheat yourself i'm jug i love you guys to the fullest and i'll see you here for another one peace